Global warming, which is a phenomena which is known to increase the Earth's temperature. However, it is known to have a big career opportunities for the biologist or in the field of biology. So let's talk about the career opportunity that is related to global warming. So here we are going to see the global warming. What are the consequences of global warming? What are the initiatives that is taken to mitigate all these effects? And ultimately, we are going to see the career opportunities that is available for biologists. So let's start at the discussion on the topic that is global warming, a big career opportunity for biologists. So firstly, we are going to understand global warming and climate change. So if you see why this global warming is called, it is because of the increased CO2 concentration or you can say carbon dioxide level that has been increased in the atmosphere. So if you see the carbon dioxide level that has been increased and contributed to the global warming effect and increased the Earth's temperature. And you can see the carbon dioxide level that has increased from 100 parts per million to 360 parts per million. So you can just imagine that this uh, concentration of CO2 is increased and that is why it is leading to the global warming effect. Means it is ultimately causing the increase in atmospheric temperature. So there is a need to reduce CO2. And uh, if you work for this field, if you are mitigating this CO2 production that has been produced by the use of fossil fuel, so ultimately you are going to have a major career opportunity in this field. So let's talk more about the global warming. So now we are going to talk about the consequences of global warming. So suppose if global warming will be there, more fossil fuel production, more consumption of fossil fuel, more CO2 production and ultimately there will be a global warming because CO2 produced will be more. Yes, we have seen that the concentration or the level of CO2 will increase in the atmosphere, right? So it will continue uh, continuously leading to the hotter temperature means the temperature of the earth will rise and there will be a hot temperature. There will be a rise in sea level because there will be melting of glaciers. There will be a chances of you can say occurrence of droughts and floods and also you can expect uh, tropical cyclones and ultimately there will be a heat waves. There will be a generation of frequent heat waves that is ultimately leading to the hotter temperature of the earth. So soon we have to mitigate all these things because if all these temperatures begin to rise ultimately there will be a hot temperature of the earth and ultimately all the sea level will rise due to the melting of glaciers. So there will be some kind of initiative to mitigate all this CO2 production. Now, what are the initiatives that can be taken or is taken to, uh, you can say, mitigate or reduce CO2 production? So you can see carbon mitigation initiative that is taken uh, in US, that is taken by the Princeton University, that is a US-based university. So again, they're working to, you can say, mitigate all this carbon dioxide effect. And how they're working for this, you can just see that is working or you can say this initiative has been working worked or developed to uh, identify the most credible methods of capturing and sequestering a large fraction of carbon emissions from fossil fuel. So what generally happens whenever you can say any fossil fuel consumption will be there. So there will be a uh, you can say production of carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide level will rise. So this initiative is being taken by the Princeton University that is in US and what they are using uh, this you know, initiative so as to sequester all the carbon dioxide that has been released in the atmosphere. So you can just imagine if carbon dioxide that has been produced by the consumption of fossil fuel, if all those carbon dioxide will be sequestered. So what will happen? Ultimately, there will be a low level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, right? So this initiative has been taken up so us is uh, now working for this and also there will be a, a need of you can say innovation and technologies so that recent technology should be developed that is going to mitigate the carbon dioxide effect and now scientists have started working to engineer the microorganism as you know in oceans phytoplanktons will be there cyanobacteria will be there so all these microorganisms are now being engineered by the you can say scientists and why they are engineering so as to increase the metabolic rate of all these uh, you can say microorganism and so as to uh, sequester all the carbon dioxide that is present in the atmosphere so this is one of the good way that is taken uh, you can say taken this initiative is taken by the scientists where they are working to engineer the microorganisms and ultimately they are going to limit the 
microbial growth media means ultimately if all these microorganisms are cultured so in that particularly you can say pool in that pool there will be a limiting growth media and if media will have limited nutrients so ultimately the you can say the microbial growth rate will increase and ultimately they are going to sequester the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere because no uh, nutrients will be there in media so they are going to hire and take all the nutrients that is available in the atmosphere and that is available in the form of carbon dioxide so this is one of the initiative that have been developed and is taken care by the scientists so they are currently working and taken an initiative to work for the genetic engineering of microorganism also there is a alternative energy technologies that that is being taken place and all these initiatives are taken place that is what called as fuel cells development of solar panels nuclear fusion and etc that is there to mitigate the carbon dioxide level that is produced by the consumption of fossil fuel now if you want to work in this field now what are the career opportunities or position that you can have in this field so as we have uh, seen that global warming it is increasing day by day this is a phenomena that is causing the increase in the temperature of the earth so surely there will be a position right to work for this and to mitigate all these effects yes so there is a position called as environmental scientist so if you have done your msc or bsc in environment you can work for this field so what actually happens in the environmental scientist as we have talked about initiative we have talked about genetic engineering so all these work will be taken care by environmental scientists and to assist all these scientists there will be a need of researchers so you can work in any of the laboratory who is dealing with all these things who is dealing with climate change uh, plans and all these global warming initiatives so you can go in that lab and work as a researcher also you can work as an environmental engineer who actually designs a new technology building so that there will be a low carbon dioxide emission so all this engineering part will be done by environmental engineering so if you have a btec degree and if you have done your environmental sciences and if you have if you don't have btec degree also but if you have done any of the certification courses in the field of you can say climate change so you can surely go for this environmental engineer you can also work as a tech entrepreneur where you will have your own business you will be developing such kind of technology so as to mitigate the co2 effect also you can work as a community uh, you can say educator where you are going to spread awareness about this global warming and the increasing a carbon dioxide level that is because of the consumption of fossil fuel so you can work for that field also you can work as a renewable energy scientist where you are going to uh, you can say work and develop more renewable energy that will be used by the people so in this way there will be low carbon dioxide uh, production and that technology will be cheaper as well also you can work for the conservation scientist that is going to you can say mitigate the forest fires so ultimately all these things will be taken care by conservation scientists that is working for the conservation of nature and natural resources and ultimately if you see nature will be conserved means there will be no forest fires no fires will be there, there so no CO2 production and conservation of natural resources if all the natural resources will be conserved no consumption of fossil fuel will be not that much so ultimately it is going to reduce the CO2 level in the atmosphere also you can work about the geoscientists where you will get to know about every details and every elements of the earth and in this way you can work for the atmosphere and you will know about the climate change so you can work towards this global warming so these are just the career opportunities that is available to you so more of these are available to those who have worked and they have pursued bachelor's or master's in environmental sciences but if you don't have environmental sciences degree so you can have a certification course and if you want you can work here and no doubt the salary package will be very attractive active because you can see many problems have been arising you can see due to global warming and many climate changes problem is there so ultimately you will have a attractive salary in this field too so if you want you can just have a certification course and after that you can apply for this post as well now what is the future perspective so we have seen the sensor technologies now this has been developed and still it is in you can say uh, under development means all sensor technologies will be there in the car that will uh, you can say that will uh, going to read all of the CO2 consumption level that is being done by that car specifically. So in this way, we'll get to know ki who is more consuming that or you can say fossil fuels and ultimately more production of CO2 is there in the environment and also global carbon mitigation program has been developed in many of the countries as we have discussed for US that is Princeton University. So here I've mentioned the list. You can see this complete list here. 
and if you see the complete list all these countries are working for this carbon mitigation but the program name is different here you can see Norway that is it's not visible here sorry so I will just read it you can just uh, listen all these things and you will get to know ki how many uh, initiatives have been taken by the country and how they are working to mitigate all this carbon dioxide level. So Norway that program is called as Climatech, UK is working for greenhouse gas R&D program, US is working for National Energy Technology Laboratory, US again it is working for carbon sequest sequestration page as we have talked about right Gentech engineering that it is going to sequester all of the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Also so US is working on carbon sequestration initiative and also we have discussed about Princeton's that is working for carbon mitigation initiative. So all of these are working for the, by the US universities, UK universities as well as, as well as Norway. So ultimately this is going to reduce the effect of global warming in near future and ultimately we have talked about genetic engineering. So ultimately our government is funding a lot for this genetic engineering on all of these emerging fields and if they are getting uh, enough funding so they are surely going to come up with some kind of product or technology that is going to you can say sequester carbon dioxide so if if anyways fossil fuel consumption will be there co2 will be produced so anyways that co2 will be sequestered so that will be sequestered by microorganism how because scientists going to work for this genetic engineering field and surely there will be some kind of innovations in your future so this is all about the global warming and how it is contributing or uh, you can say in the field of biology because this global warming has increased temperature has increased so scientists and engineers or you can say researchers they are working a lot for this field many initiatives have been taken and if you can imagine if initiative has been taken so many employment will be there so it has brought a career opportunity for all the biologists and here i've discussed the role and as well as the career opportunity that is present related to this field so this is all about the topic so i'm sure this topic was interesting for all of you. So thank you everyone for your time and patience. Meet you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. Keep learning.